Have you ever wondered why there is no bridge between Africa and Europe? Why is there nothing to connect the two? When observing the history of exploration, it is hard to believe that Europe accomplished all this without even a bridge in the Strait of Gibraltar. Issues, But the truth is, it's a million miles from the reality of EU-Africa trade policy as it exists now. Because our economic relations with Africa are simply a continuation of European colonialism. Prepa there must be some reason, if not possible in the past, why is Europe not making it now? Is Africa not allowing Europe to do so? If yes, what concerns does Africa have? Let's find out. The history of exploitation of Africa is known to all by the West. But why isn't there a bridge across the Strait of Gibraltar that could connect Africa directly to Europe? Despite its strategic significance in global shipping, the absence of a bridge across the Strait of Gibraltar can be attributed to economic, political, and engineering challenges. While the potential economic benefits of a bridge are substantial, factors such as funding constraints, political tensions between Spain and Morocco, and the lack of a compelling economic incentive have hindered progress. The sheer volume of shipping traffic passing through the strait raises questions about such a bridge's necessity and economic viability. Additionally, the technical challenges associated with accommodating colossal cargo ships, unpredictable water conditions, and seismic activity in the region pose formidable obstacles to engineering efforts. How does the absence of a bridge impact the economic dynamics between Europe and Africa through the Strait of Gibraltar? The absence of a bridge across the Strait of Gibraltar significantly impacts the economic dynamics between Europe and Africa, given the Strait's pivotal role in global shipping. The strait serves as the only natural waterway connecting the Mediterranean Sea to the Atlantic Ocean, facilitating the passage of over 100,000 ships annually. This maritime route is crucial for trade between Europe, Africa, and beyond, contributing substantially to the economies of Spain and Morocco. However, the lack of a bridge introduces logistical challenges and uncertainties, affecting the efficiency of shipping operations. The economic potential of the strait is exemplified by ports such as the port of Algeciras in Spain and the port of Tangier Med in Morocco. These ports play a key role in facilitating trade, and the absence of a bridge may lead to increased shipping costs, potential delays, and logistical complexities. While proposals for a bridge have been considered, such a structure's economic viability and necessity are subjects of debate. Therefore, the current absence of a bridge impacts the economic dynamics by introducing uncertainties and challenges in the shipping route, influencing trade and economic relations between Europe and Africa. But will there be a bridge between the two anytime soon? What are the various proposals for constructing a bridge over the Strait of Gibraltar, and what challenges do these proposals face? Several proposals for constructing a bridge over the Strait of Gibraltar have emerged over the decades, reflecting a desire to enhance connectivity between Europe and Africa. However, these proposals face a myriad of challenges that hinder their feasibility. One key challenge revolves around the economic aspects, including funding constraints and the absence of a compelling economic incentive. The immense cost of constructing a bridge over a dynamic and geologically complex region poses a significant hurdle. Political tensions between Spain and Morocco also present obstacles to these proposals. The historical and cultural context, including the geopolitical struggles over territories like Gibraltar, Ceuta, and Melilla, adds complexity to the political landscape, influencing the approval and cooperation required for such a cross-border infrastructure project. Engineering challenges represent another formidable barrier, the need to accommodate massive cargo ships, contend with unpredictable water conditions, and address regional seismic activity demands innovative and robust engineering solutions. Geological challenges, including the location of the strait atop the meeting point of the African and Eurasian tectonic plates, coupled with deep quaternary clay channels beneath the seafloor, pose threats to the stability of any bridge structure. Now, you need to understand the importance of this region too. Let's discuss how the shipping traffic through the strait contributes to the economies of Spain and Morocco, and what role the ports of Algeciras and Tangier Med play. Shipping traffic through the Strait of Gibraltar is pivotal in contributing to the economies of Spain and Morocco. 
the strait serves as a major route for maritime transportation, facilitating the passage of over 100,000 ships annually. The economic impact is particularly evident in the key ports of Algeciras in Spain and Tangier Med in Morocco. These ports are strategically located along the strait and have become vital hubs for trade between Europe and Africa. The port of Algeciras in Spain is one of the busiest ports in Europe and a crucial gateway for goods moving between the two continents. It is a transshipment point for most shipping traffic passing through the strait. The economic activities generated by the port contribute to job creation, infrastructure development, and overall economic growth in the region. Similarly, the port of Tangier Med in Morocco is strategically positioned on the African side of the strait, making it a key player in facilitating trade. It has witnessed substantial growth and investment, becoming one of Africa's largest and most advanced ports. The economic impact of Tangier Med extends beyond Morocco, influencing the broader North African region. The absence of a bridge across the strait introduces logistical complexities and uncertainties in shipping operations, impacting these ports' efficiency and economic dynamics. While proposals for a bridge have been considered, questions regarding the necessity and economic viability of such a structure remain, influencing the ongoing discourse on the future of connectivity between Europe and Africa through the Strait of Gibraltar. What are the economic stimuli and potential benefits of building a bridge over the Strait of Gibraltar? Here's a reminder to please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on black culture, history, civilization, and identity. Let's continue now. The bridge's construction over the Strait of Gibraltar holds the potential for significant economic incentives and benefits, although challenges must be navigated. One primary economic incentive lies in the enhanced connectivity between Europe and Africa, fostering increased trade and economic collaboration. The strait serves as a natural waterway, and a bridge would provide a direct and efficient route for the movement of goods, potentially reducing shipping costs and transit times. The bridge could stimulate economic growth by creating new opportunities for infrastructure development and job creation, particularly in the regions surrounding the strait. Improved accessibility and connectivity might attract investment, leading to new industries and trade corridors. The economic impact could extend beyond the immediate vicinity of the strait, influencing broader regional development. Moreover, constructing and maintaining the bridge itself would generate economic activity, creating jobs and opportunities for businesses involved in the project. The potential for increased tourism and commercial activities related to the bridge could further contribute to the economic benefits. What engineering challenges are associated with constructing a bridge over the strait, particularly in accommodating large cargo ships and dealing with seismic activity? The engineering challenges associated with constructing a bridge over the Strait of Gibraltar are formidable, particularly in accommodating large cargo ships and addressing seismic activity. One of the primary challenges lies in designing a bridge structure that can withstand the passage of colossal cargo ships, some carrying over 2.4 billion gallons of oil daily. The height and span of the bridge would need to be unprecedented to allow for the unimpeded navigation of these massive vessels through the strait. The unpredictable nature of the water conditions in the strait adds another layer of complexity. Strong currents, tidal variations, and potential storms must be carefully considered in the design and construction process to ensure the safety and stability of the bridge. The engineering solution must account for these dynamic factors to prevent disruptions to shipping traffic and maintain the structure's integrity. Seismic activity in the region poses a significant challenge, as the Strait of Gibraltar is atop the meeting point of the African and Eurasian tectonic plates. The potential for earthquakes demands innovative engineering solutions to ensure the bridge's resilience. Engineers would need to incorporate advanced seismic design techniques, such as base isolation and flexible structures, to mitigate the impact of seismic events and safeguard the bridge's stability. Does the presence of geological factors, such as the meeting point of tectonic plates and quaternary clay channels, challenge the stability of a potential bridge? The geological factors present in the Strait of Gibraltar pose significant challenges to the stability of a potential bridge. One crucial aspect is the location of the strait atop the meeting point of the African and Eurasian tectonic plates. This tectonic activity makes the region seismically active, increasing the risk of earthquakes. 
The dynamic nature of tectonic interactions demands meticulous consideration in the bridge's design and construction to ensure its resilience against seismic events. Adding complexity, deep quaternary clay channels beneath the seafloor in the strait further complicate the geological challenges. These clay channels can contribute to ground instability and subsidence, potentially compromising the foundation of a bridge. The interaction between the bridge structure and the underlying geological features needs careful examination to prevent long-term stability issues. Engineers must employ innovative techniques, such as deep foundation systems and advanced geological surveys, to understand and mitigate the potential risks. Designing a bridge capable of withstanding seismic activity and the strait's complex geological composition is crucial for ensuring its long-term stability and reliability. But there are some benefits to taking on all the challenges. So, what's stopping Europe and Africa from doing this? Has his history anything to do with this? What is the historical and cultural context of the Strait of Gibraltar? And how do historical factors contribute to the challenges of building a bridge? The historical and cultural context of the Strait of Gibraltar is rich and diverse, spanning from Neanderthal habitation to geopolitical struggles between Spain and Morocco. This historical background contributes to the challenges of building a bridge over the strait in various ways. Gibraltar, a British overseas territory, has played a significant role in the region's history, and its status has been a source of contention between the United Kingdom and Spain. The historical claims and conflicts between Spain and Morocco over territories such as Sota and Melilla add complexity to the political landscape. These historical disputes contribute to the existing political tensions, challenging cross-border collaboration and agreement on a major infrastructure project like a bridge. Furthermore, the ancient use of the strait as the Pillars of Hercules has cultural and symbolic significance. Any proposed construction would need to navigate not only contemporary political issues, but also historical narratives and cultural identities tied to the strait. The region's complex history and cultural heritage influence public opinions, political decisions, and the overall approach to large-scale projects. Let's try to understand why Africa might not be willing to make this bridge. Many African nations have a history of colonization and exploitation by European powers. The scars of colonialism, including economic exploitation, territorial disputes, and cultural impositions, create a reluctance to engage in major infrastructure projects that could promote historical inequalities. Concerns exist about the distribution of economic benefits resulting from the construction of a bridge. African nations fear that large infrastructure projects have historically disproportionately favored external interests or led to unequal economic gains. African nations are also cautious about potential impacts on their sovereignty. Past colonial experiences heightened concerns about control over the bridge, its management, and the potential influence of external powers in the region. Historical exploitation and a legacy of unequal partnerships lead African nations to cautiously approach collaborative ventures. There is a concern about the project's true motives and the potential for it to serve external interests at the expense of African nations. And Africa had a role to play. It has a role as a raw material producer. We will not allow Sub-Saharan Africa to escape that. The historical legacy of exploitation has led to strong public resistance within African nations. Historical grievances influence public sentiment, making it challenging for governments to pursue projects that align with past exploitation patterns. The political tensions are not letting Europe and Africa abridge. But how much does Europe rely on Africa without having a bridge? We will ultimately answer that question, and the stats will shock you. But first, let's talk about the political tensions preventing the bridge from being built. So, how do the political tensions between Spain and Morocco impact the FIA's ability of constructing a bridge over the Strait of Gibraltar? The political tensions between Spain and Morocco substantially impact the feasibility of constructing a bridge over the Strait of Gibraltar. These tensions stem from historical disputes over territories, including Gibraltar, Ceuta, and Melilla, and they contribute to a complex geopolitical landscape. Several factors related to these political tensions influence the feasibility of a bridge project in the following ways. Firstly, historical and territorial disputes create a challenging diplomatic environment. Unresolved issues regarding territories influence the overall relationship between Spain and Morocco affecting cooperation on significant cross-border projects. 
Any large-scale infrastructure project, such as a bridge over the strait, requires high collaboration and agreement between the two nations. Secondly, the political tensions contribute to a lack of trust and cooperation, hindering joint decision-making on matters of shared interest, including constructing a bridge. Negotiating such a project's terms, funding, and operational aspects becomes more complicated when political relations are strained. Considering the challenges discussed, is there a realistic possibility of a future bridge being built across the Strait of Gibraltar? As we have discussed, building a bridge across the Strait of Gibraltar faces substantial challenges, encompassing economic, political, engineering, geological, and historical dimensions. While the challenges are formidable, it is impossible to definitively rule out the construction of a bridge in the future. Advancements in technology and engineering may offer innovative solutions to address the technical challenges associated with accommodating large cargo ships, unpredictable water conditions, and seismic activity. International cooperation and diplomatic efforts could potentially alleviate political tensions, fostering an environment conducive to collaborative projects. Moreover, economic incentives and the potential benefits of improved connectivity between Europe and Africa may drive continued interest and exploration of the feasibility of a bridge. However, realizing such a project would necessitate careful consideration of the economic viability, comprehensive planning, and a commitment to addressing the multifaceted challenges involved. In essence, while the challenges are significant, the dynamic nature of technological advancements and changing geopolitical landscapes leaves the door open for the possibility of a bridge across the Strait of Gibraltar in the future. However, any such attempt would require planning, international collaboration, and the development of innovative solutions to surmount the numerous hurdles presented by the complex nature of the strait and its surrounding geopolitical context. And what technological advancements and innovative solutions could make constructing a bridge across the strait more feasible in the coming years? The construction of a bridge across the Strait of Gibraltar would require significant technological advancements and innovative solutions to address the complex challenges associated with the project. Several potential advancements could enhance the feasibility of such a bridge in the coming years. Material science development could lead to the creation of stronger, lighter, and more durable construction materials. These materials would be crucial for building a bridge that can withstand the dynamic forces of the strait, including seismic activity and heavy maritime traffic. Continued progress in seismic engineering and design could result in structures capable of withstanding earthquakes, incorporating cutting-edge seismic-resistant technologies, such as base isolation systems and flexible structures, would ensure the bridge's stability in a seismically active region. Advancements in foundation technologies, including deep-sea drilling and anchoring systems, could address geological challenges such as quaternary clay channels beneath the seafloor. These technologies would provide a stable foundation for the bridge structure, mitigating the risks associated with the region's geological complexity. Utilizing modular and prefabricated construction techniques could expedite the building process and reduce costs. This approach allows for assembling bridge components off-site minimizing on-site construction time and potential disruptions to shipping traffic. Implementing smart infrastructure with real-time monitoring systems would enhance the bridge's safety and performance. Sensors and data analytics could continuously assess structural integrity, monitor environmental conditions, and provide early warnings for potential issues, ensuring the long-term stability of the bridge. Incorporating renewable energy sources such as solar or wind power into the bridge design could contribute to sustainability and reduce the construction's environmental impact. This could also address concerns about the high energy demand associated with the bridge's construction and maintenance. Innovative funding models and increased international collaboration could address economic challenges. Public-private partnerships, international funding initiatives, and collaborative efforts between nations could provide the necessary financial resources and political support for the ambitious project. What's a quick fix to all the issues? How can the bridge be made as soon as possible? One thing that would be most important is solving political tensions. Otherwise, making a bridge would never be possible. A focused and strategic approach is essential to address the political complications surrounding the construction of a bridge across the Strait of Gibraltar. 
First and foremost, fostering diplomatic dialogue among all stakeholders, including European nations and African countries, is paramount. Open and transparent negotiations should build trust, address historical grievances, and establish common ground. Engaging neutral international mediators can provide an unbiased discussion platform and help navigate sensitive geopolitical issues. Additionally, developing a clear legal framework that addresses concerns related to sovereignty, ownership, and management of the bridge is crucial. This legal clarity can contribute to a more stable and cooperative political environment. Regular updates through public diplomacy campaigns can also keep the public informed and garner support, fostering a positive political atmosphere for the project. Returning to our question, how much does Europe rely on Africa for trade? The European Union EU relies on Africa for trade, with a significant portion of its goods exports coming from African countries. In 2021, the EU accounted for around 90% of goods exports from African countries. The EU also recorded a trade in goods surplus of $4 billion with Africa in 2022, the lowest since 2014. By other means, Africa trades more with Europe than it does with itself. It's portrayed as a poor continent, but actually it's the richest. It's just that the people there are denied the fruits of their land and their labour by unequal economic relations, by unfair trade rules, by illicit capital flights into the Western banks and by multinational corporations allowed off the leash by Washington, London and Brussels. Do you think the bridge will ever be built? What should Europe do to make Africa trusted? Will Europe use the bridge to exploit Africa? Let us know in the comment section. Do you think it is necessary to connect Europe and Africa first? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about, the black culture, civilization, history, and evidence about how glorious blacks have been. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.